Hello, my name is Eddie Topic. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Chicago wheat, Chicago corn, and Kansas City wheat. Chicago wheat. The rise of the market back in late April, up through all the moving averages, as well as up through some considerable con congestion between September and November last year, and, yet, and again in mid-May to mid-February this year. This was the final creation of the early February to late April reverse head and shoulder spot that gave us the move higher in the first place. If you wanted to pick a date, on the 23rd of April, a clear close over the dark blue neckline, currently at 580, that was the day. That was the day. The rise moved up swiftly and achieved its primary target at 635 and its hard to reach secondary, tar secondary target at 655, which is above both the bright red small October to November 2020 head and shoulders top neckline extension, currently at 667, and the earlier December 2023 base double stroke triple top pattern. In reality, the market blew through these resistances pretty easily. Prices then easily pushed up through the 50% Fibonacci line of the July 23 to March 2024 move at 660, which was a little bit surprising, as I thought we might see some res resistance there, as well as clearing the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 682, which is even more surprising, though prices did choose to take a rest after pushing through and utilize the 50% absolute Fibonacci line as a support before the attempt at the October 2013 high at 721 and the March 2014 high at 725, where we saw the tempering of the aggressive move higher, especially at the January 2022 low at 739, where we saw last week's peak, well, two weeks ago peak, I should say. In the process of moving higher, the market created a late April into May, very steep and very acute purple highlighted bull channel that has become somewhat of a bullish expanding wedge pattern. I said about this pattern three weeks ago, and I quote, this bullish pattern will run this market until something comes along, something suitable to challenge it. And I think I might have spotted something that just may do that. I had to go back to my longer term charts to find it, but just up ahead, highlighted in green, is the neckline extension to the big, very thin head and shoulders top from the big moves of 2021 to 2023. That's currently at 756. I suspect as we approach the neckline, we may see some trepidation and possible anxious and apprehensive behavior. I know I would be if I was approaching it. The only comfort I give is that we have had two golden crosses this week and we may have another soon. That's the end of the quote. The market's approach during mid-May to this very same green highlighted neckline caused enough of a situation to occur that prices have exited by effectively just going sideways. The next is the purple highlighted expanding wedge pattern and down through the very steep uptrend. I said two weeks ago, and I quote, the key level to watch topside is the green neckline and the key levels below for now are the 250% Fibonacci lines and the bright red neckline, end of quote. Well, last week and to a smaller extent this week, prices have plunged lower. Down through both the 50% Fibonacci lines and the bright red neckline down to the green highlighted rising short medium moving average currently at 633 which they have just closed under for the first time since late april below now we have the july 2021 low at 609 and the entwined possibly soon to be making a, a golden cross a possible golden cross mauve highlighted medium moving average currently at 606 and the gold highlighted long moving average currently 606 Beyond that, we have the March 2021 low and so the, the so far unhighlighted March today uptrend, currently at 590. Now, I will draw your attention to one small pattern formed from uh, Friday last week to date. A small descending triangle, currently 629 to 637. It's highlighted very lightly in pink on my daily chart, as if I made it any stronger, it would obliterate the, mark, the pattern. We're on the edge of breaking lower from this pattern, which would give such a pattern a primary target X in the 613 zone and a harder to reach secondary target X1 in the 597 zone. I realize I am giving these targets without any confirmed break lower, purely because it is a small pattern and targets may be easily reached during next week.
However, I am mindful that this might be a false brake lower as well, in which case I will deal with any brakes higher next week. Chicago corn. The medium moving average, currently 449, had been an effective cap on this market throughout 2023. Most recently in October, November, and then December 2023, and was also once again capping rises in late, April, late March and April. But in early May, it was breached and effectively turned into support. Prices went on higher through May to tackle the bright red highlighted extension to the lower trend line, currently 467, of the July 2023 to January 2024 descending triangle. And we have been tackling that same extension for most of May. Prices at the same time tackled the gold highlighted slowly descending long moving average, currently at 468, and again tackled it for most of May. In the overall course of the move higher, it allowed me the opportunity to draw a late February to mid-April bullish Andrews pitchfork. I thought it looked a good one three weeks ago, but two weeks ago, not so much. Which is why I changed it to a shallower bullish shift pitchfork, which you can see now, the same move. It's highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. Yet even then, as I was composing my words, the lower time, currently 466, was under bearish pressure. Two weeks ago, the market punched down through and closed below not only the lower time, but also the green highlighted short medium moving average, currently 455. And by the start of last week, prices had pushed below the next significant support, the MO highlighted medium moving average, currently 449. The reason for this move lower was what had formed throughout May, a small double top. In reaching down to the medium moving average, the market has also reached its primary and harder to reach secondary retargets, as well as making a weekly key reversal down two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, I said about the move below the medium moving average, that it was, and I quote, a significant level, as is the doorway to the main congestion between 440 to 450. That is the essence of the big February to date halfway hesitation in the first place. So you can see there's a lot below the lower time, and I'm not sure the market can take it on as yet, end of quote. I added to that last week and I quote, that is why we have seen a reversal back up yesterday. That is last Friday's action. That's why I've seen a reversal back up yesterday with an immediate countering bullish engulfing pattern and a key reversal up, if only just on the latter. So what now? Well, there is the possibility that the market may use the dark blue lower time as a rolling cap on the market and run along the underside of this. I'm not sure it has the strength as yet to push higher over the bright red neckline or the gold highlighted long moving average overhead, nor is yet the strength to take on the previously mentioned 440 to 450 congestion below. So it might well be looking at a wide 440 to 450 on the bottom up to 465, 470 range on top, with possibly a market moving along the dark blue broken lower time. And that's the end of the quote. And that is exactly what has happened this week. The dark blue lower time is the overhead resistance, whilst below we have the new uptrend, unhighlighted as yet, barely two weeks old, that's currently at 455. That's become the immediate support. What is more, if these two trend lines combined are making this week and last week's action into a possible ascending wedge pattern, currently 455 to 466. I can't give an idea of the direction as yet that the market will break, nor a proper size of move, but I suspect right now maybe lower. And I can, if prices broke through today, and give an idea of the size of the move. Thus, for a confirmed break low, we'd have a primary move of 6.5 cents, a secondary move of 20 cents, whilst a confirmed break higher would have a primary move of 12.5 cents, with a secondary move of 20 cents. I hope to give a fuller details possibly next week. Kansas City week. Now, my apologies for some of the labels being highlighted in bright red. Sometimes my charting system throws a wobbler and does this sort of thing unintentionally. So please note there is no special meaning to any of the labels being highlighted in bright red. Okay, so late last year we saw the development of a descending triangle from late November 2023 to mid-February 2024, highlighted in purple on my daily chart. 14 weeks ago we had an attempted breakout below, but prices hesitated and then continued to hesitate, such that what I initially thought might be a triple or quad bottom eventually became a quintuple bottom and also a rectangle pattern. On the 22nd of April, yes, I can narrow it down to a single day. On the 22nd of April, we saw the first significant breakout of this rectangle pattern on the upside, piercing, and then the next day closing over the most highlighted medium moving average. That's currently at 619. 
which had run parallel and just above the purple highlighted upper trend line, and then later the lower trend line of the descending triangle. The move higher accelerated over the 38.2% Fibonacci of the big old 2011 to 2019 move at 618, as well as the January 2015 high at 646, the gold highlighted long moving average, currently 642, the December 2023 high at 677, and through some significant risk resistance between 691 to 707 formed from the 50% Fibonacci line of the 2011 to 2019 move at 691, then the 50% absolute Fibonacci line at 697, and the December 2014 high at 707. I said as much six weeks ago, and I quote, do I think prices can make it this high soon? It is a reasonable point of view, especially if you look at the last few weeks action as a potential bullish halfway hesitation as it will lead prices right there as a target area. And the long moving averages on its own would not necessarily be enough to hold down prices on its own, especially with the ammunition gathered in the rectangle below and earlier this year." End of quote. However, the market did form a bullish halfway hesitation. It did actually not form actually a bullish halfway hesitation. Instead, it opted for a bull channel highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. All this is well and good. But what lay ahead for the market? Well, as I said two weeks ago, and I quote, we have congestion at 763 to 764, 787 to 791 and 808. But the first obstacle, and arguably the most significant of these, is the combined June 2014 high and 2022 low at 748. However, at the moment, I do not feel this would be that much of an obstacle in any rise, given the amount of ammunition the market has accumulated since, well, since September last year. However, not far behind that, and we do have some serious overhead resistance. This is not obvious on my daily chart, but back between January to August 2023, the market formed a huge inverted roof pattern that played out nicely thereafter. We start entering the apex of the inverted roof pattern from about 740. It will take a little while to truly venture into it, so caution, end of quote. That caution proved to be valid as the overhang from the inverted roof pattern from the big pattern last year really pressured the market back down such that last week prices broke down through the big 50% Fibonacci line. From the 2011 to 2019 move at 691. And this week have taken on the combined support of the January 2015 high, the gold long moving average and the green short medium moving average or roughly between 642 to 648. Today's significant close below all of these now sets into the frame the combination below the flatlining MOVE highlighted medium moving average, currently at 621, the interesting 38.2% Fibonacci line of the big old 2011-2019 move at 618, and a new unhighlighted April to date uptrend, currently 621. This is the next zone to watch below. And if that goes, well, we may well, may well start a move down to the declining purple lower trend line, currently at 584 old descending triangle thank you for listening this weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited and here comes the final important bit